Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Arizona Cardinals and the New York Giants. With that, let's get up to MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. With you from the booth, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. A CDR matchup here. A couple of teams last year that were really pretty similar. Both under 500. Both missed the playoffs. And they both think that they can turn things around in 2019. Yeah, how about 2018, though? A case of the haves and the have-nots. In 16 game seasons in the NFL, for the first time last year, no one finished 8-8. Eight and eight. Now, you know that in baseball, basketball, other sports, turnarounds can take three, four, five years. In football, could just be a few months. Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. New York Giants offense taking the field, led by the rookie quarterback out of Duke, Daniel Jones. In week three, he came out as a starter, defeated the Bucs. Week four, defeated Washington 24-3. But week five, a little bit different in the 28-10 defeat at the hands of the Minnesota Vikings. And really the first time that Jones has faced some adversity, 21-38. 182 yards passing and just one touchdown throw. Gallman will run it, and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Here's the offense, and we give you too much power here. We let you highlight the player. Why'd you choose Zeitler? Because I think the big guys up front never get enough credit. Kevin Zeitler, a guard, tough, nasty. We've got to give him some love. This is Gallman, and this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. Back in Arizona is outside linebacker Terrell Suggs, who played his college ball for Arizona State before going to the NFL and playing for the Baltimore Ravens for the bulk of his career. Now entering his 17th season, seven times as a pro bowler, one time as the NFL Defensive Player of the Year, he can still and wreak havoc on all ball. offenses. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Throwing Jones. And yeah, that will be incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Back deep, the dangerous Farrow Cooper. And he fields it cleanly. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cards will take over. First and 10. Time for Arizona's offense to take center stage, led by the rookie, Kyler Murray. And Murray and head coach Cliff Kingsbury getting their first victory last week with a win over Cincinnati, 26-23. Of course, remember way back in week one, they had the come-from-behind tie against Detroit. But now they have one in the left-hand side with a win over Cincinnati. And in that game, Kyler Murray, 20-32, 253 yards, had a rushing touchdown, and has gone two games without a passing touchdown. But still, the three-point victory gets him to 1-3-1. 
Well, that's a familiar connection right there. Christian Kirk was in the same class as Kyler Murray at Texas A&M. They played together as freshmen before Murray transferred. Kirk, though, he stayed in College Station, had a great three-year career before being drafted 47th overall in 2018. Was having a solid rookie campaign last year, but then broke his foot in week 13 and was shut down the rest of the way. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold him. Grant Haley in on the stop. And let's look now at the offensive starters for the Cardinals. We're all looking forward to watching David Johnson bounce back from a rough season in 2018 because we know he has 2,000-yard potential. 1,000 on the ground, 1,000 in the air. And with a new offensive-minded coach in Arizona, look for his numbers to truly increase in 2019. Check, check, 47. And that trapped. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Murray with a third and long. Now he's going to go deep down the left side. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep, Golden Tate. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. And no forward progress here. This is going to be a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here. A safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's file this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. Rosas now to kick this one away. And it's a short kick, taken right around the 19. And a pretty slick return there as he's up just shy of the 45-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. Arizona's offense retaking the field, and they're coming off their first victory of the season, Week 5 against Cincinnati. Going into that game, both of those teams were winless. And for Arizona, if they're going to make any noise this year, you figured they had to have it, and they did get it, thanks to a Zane Gonzalez field goal with a couple of ticks left to win 26-23. The ground game was working for the Cardinals. They ran for a season-high 266 yards, and now they'll be back home against Atlanta, and then two on the road to the Giants and to New Orleans. That's what's coming up in the next three weeks for Arizona. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Murray. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 
That one, a first down pickup of eight. Nice pass that time by the number one pick, Kyler Murray. Also drafted ninth in the Major League Baseball draft. He's the only person ever to be taken top ten in both sports. Go back to his Allen High School days in Texas. He was 42-0 as a starting quarterback. Freshman year was at Texas A&M, then the transfer to Oklahoma, sat behind Baker Mayfield. Then his opportunity came last year. Boy, did he make the most of it. Won the Heisman Trophy and led the Sooners to the college football playoff. The best play callers in any league know how to break their tendencies. They study themselves, they self-scout, and they realize most of the time you don't call a draw play on first and ten. So every so often you insert that play just to make the defense think, even if it's not successful. On second and 11 now, Murray completes it to Fitzgerald. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Well, Larry Fitzgerald, the catch back on September 29th, moved into second place all time in receptions in NFL history with catch number 1326 past Tony Gonzalez. Is that 1,326 catches? That's phenomenal. And Tony Gonzalez just went into the Pro Football Hall of Fame this last year. So you know you're moving into rare territory. And for a long time, we thought that Jerry Rice's record was unapproachable. But Larry Fitzgerald continues to play, and he's actually approaching pretty fast, still a couple hundred away. But as you say now, not impossible because he seems to enjoy playing football. It looks like he's gonna stay around for a while. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. On first down, Johnson. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Throwing is Murray on third down. And this is caught at the eight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he fights his way in, not giving up. And it's a Cardinal touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run. Making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle. No running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And this is good as they extend it out now to a 9-0 lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's David Johnson who provides the capper as he scores on the touchdown run.
Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And New York set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Off the play fake, Jones. And this is Latimer, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. That's trash. That's trash. Jones now operating from the gun. And this is Shepard on the catch. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. A lot of people thinking that this could be a good year for Sterling Shepard to step out of the shadows of Odell Beckham Jr. But a season ago, pretty good for Sterling Shepard. 66 receptions, 872 yards, and now hoping for a 1,000-yard campaign in 2019. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Here's Jones. Off play action. Finds his tight end, Ingram. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. First trip to the red zone for the Giants. They've got a first and goal just inside the five. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets them back now for second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Go. The Fans, a reminder. I have a note card here that says ad lib halftime previews. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But you know. Writing down your ad. -lips. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gordon. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. When you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. It's put up or shut up time defensively. Nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. Now Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Cody Latimer there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes 
You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the lead is down to two. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I see. love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Murray going to throw. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Murray to throw on third and one. And he's got his man. It's the tight end play. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Murray from midfield and he's going to be swallowed up sacked back at the 45 yard line and their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source you mean it wasn't a linebacker it wasn't a defensive end it was somebody like you oh my goodness yeah that's a surprise for the offense that's not what they normally get when they think about pressure Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. On second down, here's Murray. It's caught, Cooper. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. From the gun on third down, Murray. This complete to the tight end, Clay. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And 
So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. First down, Johnson, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. A lot of people felt Johnson was a little misused during what was a disappointing 2018. 940 yards on the ground, seven touchdowns. Great for most, but not the season Johnson was hoping for. And he said this offseason, there are a lot of good running backs in the NFL, but I'm the best. And now he's trying to prove it, hoping to get back to the production that sent him to the Pro Bowl in 2016. That would certainly help his rookie quarterback. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count Still got him there? Yeah, yes. Maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. Second down, Murray sets to throw. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 17-yard line. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. On first down, it's Johnson, and he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got he's to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. They go to Johnson again. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now a 
attempt carry for Johnson. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Broken tackle. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. He stayed afloat for a second there after the first wave of contact, but it, he, that was going nowhere. Yeah, what did he tell us in pregame? I just don't want to get my feet stopped initially when I'm trying to make a run. That's exactly what happened there. Unfortunately, as you noted, got away a little bit from the first one, but the wave swarmed him under. From back at the four, here's second and goal. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, full back. <laughs> takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And here we are almost through three quarters of play and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL where it's a pass first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. It's a six yard pickup but it gets them to second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. From the 30 on second down, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Jones throw on target to Shepard. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Back 
And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ready? Mike, 58, right there. It's our time. It's our time, guys. It's our time. Get it. Go. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, he gets it complete to Latimer. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 44-yard line. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jones. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Jones heading up here first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Jones from the gun, he'll throw. He completes it to Tate. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Jones. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window on, closed set. quickly. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Ready, ready. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, that's something we saw over and over again in Barkley's rookie season. He had 91 catches last year, most ever by a rookie running back. Part of a fantastic rookie campaign that saw him go over 2,000 total yards. They'll try to pound it in with Goldman. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out as they have now chopped this lead down to three. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Rosas to add the extra point. And it's good. It cuts it to two. 16-14 our score. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. 
Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. That'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll bring up second down. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Johnson. Yeah, boy, from up here, I don't think Johnson got there. No, he did not. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So now Jones and the Giants. Down 16-14, a minute 50 to play. Needing at least 40 yards, you'd have to think, to have a shot. He's back to throw. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Well, that's a good first step, but several steps still to go. They still have time for the possible game-winning field goal. Time for them to be quick and hurry at the same time. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll look to throw. This is caught by Latimer. 25 yards that time. Here we go. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. You better be afraid. Fight. He'll look to throw. Throw left side complete to Ingram. Now a flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Back to throw. Keeps himself upright. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be a second and long. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Jones signaling, let's go, let's go. Try to get his guys up to the line. Back to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here 
Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. It's caught. Shepard. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Jones heading up here first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. So give to Barkley out of the gun. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. And they're going to speed things up here. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. To the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25, couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Murray, one final try. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. For that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.